So I'm here today to talk about something very important to me. That is sparkling water. Uh, personally, my favorite brand is uh, LaCroix, but you know, there's a lot of brands out there. There's Perrier, um, San Pelipper. Um, but yeah, so it, it, it's just carbonated water. And there's been a lot of memes recently uh, about it tasting like uh, TV static, um, about how it's like hint of hint of lime is, is a flavor of it. But the big thing that people like to call it is angry water. And for a while that, that, that angered me because I was like, surely this water isn't angry, it's just misunderstood. But then I realized, no, 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 no. I'm going about this wrong. The water is angry. That's a good thing, and I'm here to tell you why today. So, uh, so using my um, using my La Croix to fuel me, I'm going to begin explaining uh, from a historical aspect, a scientific aspect, a mathematical aspect, a linguistic aspect, and finally, from a logical standpoint, on why sparkling water, angry water, as it were, uh, is not only uh, better than water. Uh, calm water as it were, but it's also a healthier choice and it's just better all around. It's, it's how it should be. It's natural. So, to begin with the historical uh, aspect. <laughs> I'll begin by saying that I understand it's an acquired taste because the first time I had it, uh, I was at a, I was at a restaurant with some people and they didn't serve tap water; they served water out of bottles. And they ran out of uh, non-sparkling water bottles and refused to serve us tap water for whatever reason, even though none of us wanted sparkling water. But they told us that the only water they had was sparkling water, so they brought that out for us, and I tasted it, and it was disgusting, and I hated it, and I didn't take another sip. But then, as, as the years went on since then, there was a couple times that I tried it because I was like, maybe I like it this time, and I, I just never did. But then, I got here to college, and uh, in, our, in our stop and shop, uh, or stop, shop and go, whatever area, they have sparkling water there, and so I started trying it there, and it had flavor in it this time, because before I was just trying the non-flavored stuff. And uh, I think that was part of the reason I didn't like it. But I started drinking the flavored angry water and realized that, you know, it, it has charming aspects. And so over time, also in an effort to stop drinking sodas because they're very bad for you, uh, I started drinking carbonated water because it's literally just water with carbonation. So it's, you know, it's, it's healthy for you. Uh, and it's a good substitute and it still gives you that, that, that uh, carbonation sensation that I was missing with sodas. Uh, so that's what got me into it. It was an acquired taste. I didn't like it at first, but I came to appreciate uh, the subtle undertones of the drink. And I think that they're very much overlooked by the haters of Angry Water. Um, so that's the history of, of why I like it. But recently I've come to realize that there's more than just my, my acquired taste history with it. Science actually uh, proves the validity of sparkling Angry Water as well as math. And I'll show you why. So, we know from physics that F equals MA. We also know that W equals FD. Now, if we use a simple substitution, we see that these Fs can be interchanged, meaning that W actually equals MAD. We'll hold on to that for a second. Now, over here. So, we know in chemistry that H. 2O equals water, right? Now, if you look at the H2O for a second, you have H, and then that 2, you can actually write as two parallel lines, and, uh, and then you have the O. Now, if you take one of these lines and turn it perpendicular, you actually get H plus O. And now, here's where the math comes in. See, H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. So then you have 8 plus O, which is the 15th letter of the alphabet. So that's 8 plus 15 equals 23. 23. You know what 23 is? 23 in the alphabet is W, because W is the 23rd letter of the alphabet. 
So now we have that H2O equals water, and then all of that leads to W. So now we have that H2O equals water, H2O also equals W, and to finish the triangle out, W equals water. So we can actually substitute here that water equals math. Now here uh, you may come to a, a standstill if you're just looking at this scientifically and mathematically because you see water equals math, but what does that mean? But here's where the linguistics come in. Crop it. Uh, and if you have a, a copy of the source, um, you can actually look up synonyms of words. And uh, I don't have I don't have a copy of the source with me, but there is an online source that you can go to. It's on thesaurus.com. And you can look up the word mad and find that a synonym for mad is angry. So now we have that water, I'm running out of space here, equals angry. So using nothing but, but pure science and mathematics and linguistics, we have found that water by default is angry. And now here is where we move into the logical section. I will sit back down uh, because I want a sip of my look right. Mm, that's good. So, from a purely logical standpoint, we have proven that water is angry by default. And uh, this has led me to conclude that, that naturally water is angry, but when we bottle it, it's like bottling up its emotions. So, so the water takes its anger and just bottles it up inside. And that's why it's not angry water when you just buy a bottle of water. But that's not healthy. We all know from a, from a, a, a psychological perspective that bottling up your emotions is very unhealthy and, and it leads to, to dissatisfaction and, and discontentment with your life. And it can even lead to things like, um, like depression and heart disease. So in every aspect, bottling up your emotions is very harmful to you. And if you're drinking water that is bottled up with emotions, then that is damaging your body. But if you drink naturally angry water, uh, like Lafroiki, um, Perrier, then it's natural and it's actually healthy for you because you're getting its raw, unfiltered emotions, its anger and bitterness with the world. Just all around, it's better for you. It's natural. We've proven that it is a natural state for water to be angry. And, uh, that's why I think everyone should appreciate, if not enjoy, uh, sparkling water of all kinds. Your Redskins kicked butt this weekend. Amen. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Right here we have a brave person outside braving the elements. Now, this guy, he's been through hell and back, but he's surviving. We can all learn a lesson from him. Here we are with room to spare, out of the elements. But look at this magnificent piece of work that's out here in the rain, braving the harsh conditions that people in Africa have to deal with every day. There's no water in Africa. Back to you, Jim. <laughs> I just remembered in, in High School Musical when they were getting with uh, Sharpay and her brother, they did the whole like, <laughs> that thing, that's great. I'm just channeling my inner Sharpay. All right.